Hello and welcome to this video on finding the mean of ungrouped frequency tables. Now let's just say we had four values like this, 3, 3, 5, 8, and we wanted to find the mean. What would we do? Well, we would just add the values together, so 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 is 19, and then we just divide by how many values there were. So there's four values here, so we just divide by 4, and you do 19 divided by 4 is 4.75, so that would be the mean. Now let's say instead we had a frequency table and this frequency tells us how many people of each age we have. So we've got four people at age five, we've got zero six-year-olds, we've got seven seven-year-olds and we've got nine eight-year-olds. Now we need to do exactly the same thing. We need to work out the total of all the ages. So add up all the ages and then divide by how many ages there were, how many people there were. Now to find the total age, we can find the total age within each group. So let's add a total row. Now, if we've got four people age five, remember the frequency means the number of people. We've got four people age five, what would be their total age? Well, it would be four times five is 20. If there's zero people age six, what is their total age? Well, zero times six is zero. If there's seven people age seven, what is their total age? 49. And what is nine times eight? That's 72. And then we can find out the grand total of the ages. So 20 plus zero plus 49 plus 72 is 141. So the total of the ages is 141. Now we need to divide that by how many people there are. Now a mistake would be to divide this by four, and a lot of students divide by four because they have four rows. But that's not the number of people there are. The number of people is just the total frequency. Remember the frequency tells us how many people in each group. So the total frequency will be the total number of people. So we can add those up as well. If we do four plus seven plus nine, that gives us 20. And that means the mean is just going to be equal to the total age, 141, divided by the number of people, the total frequency, and that gives us 7.05. And let's just check that's sensible. 7.05 is just above that 7 here. That does look sensible because we've got more people towards the older ages. Now I'm going to give you a question to do. We've got these different number of points and the number of people who got each number of points. And I want you to work out the mean number of points. You may want to pause the video here to have a go at that. Now, as before, we can add a total row. So, four people got 10 points, so that's a total of 40 points. Two people got 20 points, so that's a total of 40 as well. Three people got 30 points, that's a total of 90 points. One person got 40 points, that's a total of 40. And we add those together and we get 210. And the total frequency, 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 10. And therefore, the mean number of points is equal to 210 divided by 10, which equals to 21. And let's just check that's sensible. It's about there. Yeah, that sounds about sensible. Well done if you got that right.